everyone welcome back to another video my name is Fanny and today we are gonna see how you can start freelancing with HTML and CSS I know that HTML and CSS can seem like a difficult thing to learn but I promise it is not HTML and CSS are used in websites to design the page layout the code that is written in HTML and CSS is what tells the computer to lay out the website. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is a language that contains codes that tell the computer what information to display on the screen of a website. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it helps define the styles of the website. And with this too, anyone can learn how to design a website. So what things can you do with just HTML and CSS? And how can you actually start freelancing with these two skills? So without wasting so much time, let's go right into the video. Now, I'm gonna take you through the things you can do with HTML and CSS and how you can freelance with each of these things. The first one is build a portfolio and an interactive resume. Building a portfolio and an interactive resume is a great way to showcase your work, to showcase your skills, to showcase what you've done and all your experiences. For your portfolio, you can use a variety of different mediums. You can use GitHub, you can journal, you can create a personal portfolio and showcase your skills. An interactive resume allows you to present your skills, your experiences, and your accomplishments in a visualized, appealing way. Normally, it looks really professional and concise, but it should also be interesting and engaging. Now, how can you freelance and start making money? You can create high-quality HTML and CSS resume templates and sell it either on Colorib, or Envato, etc. You can showcase a free and premium version of your HTML and resume templates and also upload them on freecss.com to showcase your portfolio. Number two, design HTML email templates. Now, email is one of the most widely used marketing channel in the world. With more than 2.5 billion email accounts, many marketeers are turning to HTML uh, email templates as a way to send personalized, customized messages to their clients or customers or their subscribers. So how can you freelance with this skill? You can start designing email templates and add it to your portfolio and use sites like Upwork, People Per Hour, Fiverr, and target those marketeers who use email marketing as a tool to reach their audience and design for them custom email templates. Because one thing I know is there are a number of businesses that need this particular skill. So you just have to be good at your game and be great at your skill and just be open to learning new things every single day. Number three, create HTML and CSS templates. The process of creating HTML and CSS templates is a bit hard and it might be difficult for you to find the time to do it. You can start off by just creating simple templates like a website header, a website footer, or a specific uh, card, anything. And then as you gain more skills and more experience, you can upgrade and start creating like a landing page template, advanced templates like um, a restaurant website template, a content section, or a blog website template in purely HTML and CSS. So at this point, you might need to learn how to use certain CSS preprocessors like SAS or less CSS to create more advanced templates. This will help you make it easy for you to automate certain repetitive tasks, create reusable code snippets, and ease your design work. Now, how can you freelance with this skill? You can sell those templates on Theme Forest and make money from it. Template Monster. You can also sell this service on freelance sites like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com, People Per Hour, etc. Number four is website maintenance. 
As a website owner, it is necessary task for any website owner to maintain their website. You can become an HTML website maintainer and your roles could be doing things like updating clients' websites, updating content on the websites, cleaning up some unnecessary website files. You can update websites' meta tags, optimizing websites' content, analyzing performance on the website, fixing small issues within the website. Now, next, you can transform mockups or wireframes to static web pages. Now, there are some scenarios whereby a client already has a ready-made design. Maybe it's a PNG, maybe it's a, a, a Figma file, maybe it's Adobe XD file, or maybe it's a, a sketch file, or maybe he presents for you the, the layout and your job is just to change it into an actual static website using HTML and CSS. So how can you make money doing that? You can set up yourself as a front-end developer specializing in HTML and CSS. Go to sites like Upwork, freelancer.com, and take up these tasks. Mind me with time, you'll just get used to this kind of tasks and then you develop your skills and maybe introduce other front-end technologies like React into your freelance. Now, next, you can teach HTML and CSS. Now, the internet has given us a lot of opportunity to learn and to teach people how to do certain things or how to learn a certain skill that is becoming more and more in demand. Now, web development is one of the skills that is in demand. So if you know HTML and CSS, you can start teaching others how to build websites using HTML and CSS. Now, how can you make money doing this? You can create a HTML CSS course. And also, if you have a website, you can charge people. You can become a HTML CSS mentor. And also, you can look around in your local community. Look out for boot camps that are teaching digital skills. At least I have done one of these. Started out as a volunteer HTML teacher. And then it turned out the next time I got paid for a specific period of time teaching people basics of web development the next is you can contribute to open source projects contributing to an open source is a great way to learn a new skill improve your skill and also share knowledge with other people who are in the open source communities there are so many ways open source projects out there are looking for new developers so go ahead and find one that suits the skills that you have and one that gives you an opportunity to keep learning. It is also a great way to meet new experienced people. Mind me, you'll find very good open source, very good mentors in the open source communities. People that have similar interests as you. Now, how can you make money with open source? Now, we all know that open source is basically free. And most of the times you just, it's like giving back to the community. But there are actually some ways you can get paid contributing to open source projects. How? You can offer paid support for a specific open source project. You can also sign up for open source funding. That is, if you have a very good idea or you have a very good project, there are sites like Open Collective, Tidelift, etc. That can help you monetize your open source project. I know that learning a new skill can sometimes be intimidating and there are some basic things you can do to help you learn HTML and CSS fast. Whether you're looking for a new job or you want to start freelancing, I hope you find these tips in this video helpful. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments. Or if you're shy, you can DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you. Bye-bye.